the human skin. It feels every touch. Subtle or rough, it feels the difference between hard and soft. Imagine being able to create a similar skin for objects. Imagine being able to let objects feel. Phosphos is the name of a European project that develops an artificial touch and pressure sensitive skin made of flexible and stretchable skin-like polymer sheets that are sensitive to touch, pressure and deformation. The skins are made from very special types of polymer material. Polymer material is a type of plastic. They need to be bendable, flexible and stretchable, just like a human skin. The materials used are developed in a very special manner so that they are also compatible with the electronics that need to be integrated inside the polymer material. The sensitivity of the skin is given by optical fibers and detectors integrated within the polymer sheet. The optical fibers are not just the glass fibers that we know from optical telecommunications. Phosphos uses so-called microstructured fibers. In contrast to conventional fibers, light is kept inside the fiber by means of an array of microscopically small air holes that run along the entire length of the fiber. Pressure exerted on these holes modifies how light traverses the fibers. This is one of the secrets behind Phosphos. The photonic skins that can sense touch and pressure have a very broad range of applications in many different fields of industry. We are developing now a new type of measurement system to measure the breathing. This is very hard to do these days with little discomfort to the patient. What we can do is measure the movement of the thorax or of the abdomen and hence measure the amount of air taken in by the patient. The sensors are not only used for medical purposes, they can also be used in nursing homes and residential homes, providing adult and elderly care. Wide area sensing skins can, for example, be integrated in the floor to detect presence and to warn in case a resident fell and needs help. In the automobile industry, the skins can be used to monitor tire pressures, to detect contacts and collisions in smart bumpers, and to record data about the dynamic behavior of crash test dummies in simulated vehicle impacts. In the field of robotics, the sensor skins may prove to be paradigm shifting, as they may provide a sense of touch to humanoid robots. We can think of applying our optical sensitive skins in the field of robotics to make actual really touch sensitive artificial skins around a robot. Civil engineering, mining industry and the field of oil and gas exploration and production will also greatly benefit from the pressure sensitive skins. If we could measure pressure with our new technology inside oil boreholes we could avoid the problems that we know today. Today, the wealth of application is truly breathtaking. We had no idea about the amount of possible applications that we had. We see with the technologies that are coming up that we are capable of creating a complete new way of uh, doing sensing with flexible skins, which we didn't have before. We think it will have also a significant commercial impact on the long term. To develop such a technology, one cannot find all the necessary expertise within a single laboratory or country. Therefore, different universities and companies from all over Europe have teamed up in the Phosphos project with the financial support of the European Commission's seventh framework programme for research and technical development. It gives us access to a range of uh, skills and technologies and expertise which we, we don't have within our own, our own group. It's also very uh, interesting to work together with uh, international partners and to see how it's uh, possible to combine all the forces within a European project. We had to tackle many challenges. We had to start 
developing the sensors first, we had to start developing the polymer materials, we had to develop the integration technology, and I can now safely state that on all of these fronts we have achieved true breakthroughs. But now we have to bring all these technologies together to build systems for particular applications.